Many people take ocean cruises for pure enjoyment and relaxation, traveling the vast seas to escape the daily grind. But sometimes the sailing isn't so smooth. Fortunately, it's in times of crisis that unexpected heroes often rise up to save the day. We were doing a coastal cruise from Cape Town up to Durban. Everybody was scared, you could see it. And we started realizing this is going to be a very, very rough trip. As the passengers aboard the Oceanus cruise line gathered together for the last night of their holiday, little did they know that they were on a voyage that would be as unbelievable as it was frightening. Moss Hills, one of the ship's entertainers, received a call that there was a small problem and that the passengers were being sent to the showroom. The ship, caught in the rough seas, suddenly lost power, stopping dead in the water with all but the safety lights out. Suddenly, through all that, everyone looks through the window and there a lifeboat is going past the window. On it were members of the crew abandoning ship. I got the camera and I went down now one of the forward stairwells. There's water everywhere. It looks like it's flowing in reasonably fast. The Oceanus was now listing so much that it made the lowering of any more lifeboats impossible. For the next 10 hours, passengers waited helplessly as the ship tipped farther and farther on its side. We had to crawl along the deck trying to find something to hold on to and something to anchor ourselves so we didn't fall down the deck. Finally, helicopters arrived. It's like a cowboy movie with the cavalry arriving. It's, it's amazing. Everything should now be fine, but it wasn't. The ship was going down fast. There were too few copters and too many people. A helicopter winched down diver Paul Wiley to help in the evacuation, but high winds made the lowering extremely dangerous. It was pitching quite heavily, so the chopper pilot had quite a job. In fact, he took about 20 minutes to put me down. Moss gathered up a rope tied one end of it around a railing, the other around his waist, and guided the diver safely down to the ship's deck. Once on the ship, Wiley showed Moss how to work the harness so they could each start evacuating passengers. With some passengers being lifted into helicopters and others ferried to the lifeboats and inflatable rafts, it was a race against time to escape the rapidly sinking ship. Desperation overtook some of the passengers, causing them to leap off the ship into the freezing, shark-infested waters. We really never, ever expected to get out of it. My goodness. The heroes definitely, Moss and the other entertainers, and if it hadn't been for them, we'd all be dead. As this modern-day Titanic disappeared beneath the waves, deck chairs piled forward toward the sunken bow of the ship. Chairs that very easily could have been passengers. I was incredibly proud of Moss. Um, I think he did an incredible job, and he really, really risked his life a lot on that, that ship for strangers. I don't think of myself as a hero. I don't want it to make it sound like, like I'm just saying that. But I mean, the thing is, all of us work together. We just reacted to a situation and we saved every single person on that ship. And it's, it's a fantastic feeling. 